Not not to hinder your conversation. Well, it just changes what I'm about to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just kinda... I was about to name drop. Oh, okay. About to drop some heat. Nada, drop it. Heat. Nope, did someone sweat out on the floor already? So, why does she wear blue? So, she's the libero. So she can, she has some special subbing rules. Like she can, she only plays on the back, but she can like run on and off the court instead of like doing a substitution. So, but they want her to be a completely opposite color. So that, like theirs is white. So they're like odd men out. Isn't it so nice? It's like kind of like jacket weather. Again, I mean, it's a little warm today for it, but I feel like I'm wearing a blanket. Here's a kid for Rebecca. That goes on the book. Oh, that was Rebecca? Yeah. She's number five. She's a hitter. She's the only one with the sleeve on because she's got a bruise on her elbow. So she just really wants to. It does work for her though. It looks like more, uh, looks more hardcore. So, the score is like tennis right now. It's just one point. It's like each time the ball hits the ground, it's a point. But how many, how many points are that going to be? We're going to go up to the first one to 25 for a set, and then, uh, but it's win by two. So, like, if it's 24 24, it'll go yeah. 26 24. You have to win three. Yeah, they'll win three sets. So, they'll play a handful of times. So, this will be set one. It's best of five. Huh? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> it's one handed. You said best of five? Yeah, first one to three wins. First one to three shots. That was sad. Sounds like a little confusion at the net. At some point, what I want to do, Boaz, is maybe for Christmas, I will buy you a radio, and I'm going to ship it to you, and then, like a walkie-talkie type radio, and then I want to test and see if we can get reception from here to Astro, from my, from, or from the house, and see if I can tune it up right. Yeah, you're really trying to go off the grid, aren't you? <laughs> it's way cooler. To actually communicate on that, I might have to get you to do the license, so you may not end up wanting to do that. The license? You have to get licensed to broadcast on the air. But you can actually, it's cool because I didn't realize this, with radio stuff, you can um, you can operate on like low frequencies, like these op phones operate like 4G, like that's, that's high up on the UHF scale. A lot of radiation. You can operate on like if that's 4,000 hertz, you can operate on like 100 hertz or 165 hertz and basically go like to Hawaii if you, if you had a good, good elevation. Um, but you can text on some of them. Like you can text and you can call and stuff. It'd be kind of cool. It's cool as a backup for like when the power does go out and our phones are dead so we can still like, we can't FaceTime but we can still call. I'm all about it. I'm trying to get her into it, but I'm just now getting into it. I told her I'd call her if she got a radio. <laughs> That's what it takes. It's kind of like... It's kind of like... How often do you call your dad, Boaz? I mean, you see him work with him all the time. Yeah. It's always like... It's always like... Huh? I work with you all the time. Yeah. We hang out and work together all the time and stuff. Like volleyball games and stuff. So. Bro, she straight up launched it. 
Yeah. Can you get that head coach mom again? Yeah. Matthew does a lot of the, like, analytics and strategy as far as, like, lining up some stats. And then Kathleen is tracking stats right now. And, um, and mom, is the head, mom is the head coach so she can stand up and walk in. Got a good hit, she's just a bad angle. They all work they all work really close together then. Especially Mom and Matthew. We told Christy T that you had lost your watch. She said she was looking, but I didn't uh, today. But I didn't hear any update. I looked in the car over there. You had a timeout. Come on, bro. You're coaching. I think you got to coach on harder. They gotta realize that it's Matthew's birthday, and like we don't lose on birthdays. We do not lose on birthdays. We don't lose on birthdays. We win on birthdays. We don't lose on birthdays. There's no losers on birthdays. Look at the graphics. 2005. Is this NBA? <laughs> That's it's hilarious. Do you remember? Um, thing is an NBA game. You play on your phone. But NBA Jam. Did you have that? Yeah. Yeah, to have like the big heads and stuff. I remember it in NFL. Really like, on your phone? No, on your phone. Now that it's a, now that like the graphics are where the graphics are, like Matthew will play Madden every now and then on TV. When I watch him play and then we try and go back to PlayStation 2, it's like yeah. it's hard. It's hard to go back now. And it's not like it's not like the gameplay is any different. It's just hard to go back and play that. Yeah. For some reason. Retro gamers. She'd be too good. Yeah, pretty good. A oh, pretty good. She should try it next year. Then you can just bring her down. <laughs> you can well, or she can just lodge for the week. How old is she? Is she fourteen? Fifteen? Think so. So she'd be sixteen next year. Why not? That'd be fun. We'd have to fit in with like Fable and Black Come on, girl! Woo! That's in. Nice job, Rebecca. That's, that's, that only comes with the last name Martin right there. <laughs> no. Oh well. You only live once. Yeah, <laughs> the only stream one. <laughs> Boaz, you are killing it. That was left handed, dude. That was two. <laughs> Next time uh, it comes over here, you need to do both hands and, and hit it up like they do. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and we still get it. I like that. Did you read? Do you read the fan up there? So what? Read the words on the fan. Where? It's 
spinning on that circle, like on the hook half of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Rebecca's very determined. She's super different. Like, she goes home and studies all the stats. But a couple of them do, too. Like, Talia. Like, Talia's 13. And then Valley's, I think she's 15, too. So, like, they're all younger and stuff, too. But they're all really determined. But as far as the other ones, I can't speak to the other ones. Because I don't know them much. Yet. But all of them, I know they're the same. But Rebecca does practice. Rebecca likes math. Does she like math? Yeah. yeah. Well, she wasn't, but now she is. But, like, Matthew gets, like, what she gets. Yeah, like, he was very upset the Patriots lost last night. <laughs> really? Like, he was, like, when that hit the field goal. <laughs> he was like, dang it. <laughs> but, like, Matthew, once he gets fixated on something, he's, like, fixated on it. She's determined like that. But then she, but she cuts it off when it's, like, when sports are on her But she turns it on when sports are there. And then, <laughs> then she starts... And then she'll do stuff like I do, like with uh, like arts and crafts, like very detailed. So she's determined and in detail. I'm just detailed and anal about stuff. And then Matthew's just determined about everything. So and then uh, Kathleen's excited the power came back on. <laughs> she was pumped. I said, Kat, when the power came back on, I told him this earlier, but I said, when the power came back on, I was kind of going on Friday. I was going to sleep. It was like at midnight. And I was going back to sleep, and I like turned my light off and put my phone down or something. And then um, it was like min- it was like just after midnight, and um, the power came back on, but I didn't care. And all I heard was Kathleen go, "Oh yay!" and like nothing else. It was funny. But then I was thinking because we were trying to play Fortnite that night really quick, and so um, and I so I was thinking I was like. Because you were probably still up. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I could text him and play, but I was too tired. I thought about asking too. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was annoying because like we were told like 6.45. And so I was like, well, I'm just going to go to bed. And then it came back on. <laughs> Dang. Running off on the side. Oh, yay. <laughs> she was pumped. What can I say? She was fun. I, I could care less. You can stay off for all I can. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it being off. A nice pitch black room is the best. Well, the best I will say this. She had that wedding to go to because she was just glad that... I think she was just glad that the power came up on so she could pick herself. Yeah. Are you still coming over Friday? Yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll figure it out some more then. <laughs> or maybe after this or whatever. This Friday? He's got a wedding he's doing and asked if he could lodge. So I can't hang out with you. I'm going to be hanging out with Bella. It's too bad. It's so like that anniversary. Well, you can hang out with us. <laughs> Did we get that point? How do you know? much boy stuff happens. What are you talking about? There is a lot of inside jokes. Like that. Yeah, like that's the thing. Is like every time I have like something with my friends for the first time when we were dating, she like wanted to be there and meet people, and I get it. She still wants. She still likes my friends, but there are a lot of inside jokes, and so she feels like the odd man. A lot of rollies. A lot of, there's a lot of rollies. Way too many inside jokes. I know none of them, but everyone in your And they're, like, too that. hard to explain, too. Like, really, everyone Honestly, in your family like, our is, inside jokes, we don't even, we just kind of understand. I don't know what Yeah. It is. <laughs> I don't even know what the inside jokes mean. It's <laughs> just kind of like, I was like, oh, that is, like, kind of rolly. <laughs> so, like, when I say, like, hey, rolly, and I send that to him, do you know what that means? And if it's just in rolly question mark, Never. what would you guess that means? Huh? Is it, funny? it just means you won't play Fortnite. <laughs> but like we didn't, uh, we didn't come up with that. Uh, I've never even heard you say that. 
Rolly, rolly, rolly. Are we fizzling, tizzling? We, are we fizzling, <laughs> tizzling? We fizzle, tizzle? Rolly, there's this, I think it's because they do that song. I think there's a song on Fortnite. Yeah. This is like, rolly, 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 rolly. And then we're just like, we just kind of adopted it. But see how it's annoying, like you don't explain the joke and it's not funny anymore. It's okay, I don't have to know everything. Well, she's got jokes with her sister, I don't get. Not really. Yeah. Like what? I don't know, y'all just like whisper something and it's like, hee hee, and I'm like, alright. I, mean, I, I, I do it with you, but you don't, you just go, okay? Okay, I'll just say this. There's probably a lot more inside jokes with your friends, but we never hang out with your friends. I don't really have any. You have friends. Well, I mean, I'm saying I have Megan, but... Yeah, but they're I, all... I have stuff inside jokes with Megan. All your friends... My friends, like, we we still get involved. Your friends, like, they all, I guess, are in I different... I try to get involved. They're all in different places to have their own life they're trying to do or something. Oh, they don't hang out as much. Oh, my gosh. Do you want to go to Scarewinds? Are y'all going? I'm not. He's not, but I'm trying to look for something to go. <laughs> you can go with her. I don't care. Why aren't you going? I'm too busy. On the way over here, I got more orders. My ball's gone. I, she wants to go in October and I just can't go, swing it. Her husband wants, doesn't want us to go by ourselves. And he can't really go because they have a son, so. I'm just a Where are you going? I don't know, I thought about going to Saturday. Oh, uh, yeah, I couldn't. He's wedded in. What are you shooting with? Do you like roller coasters? I have been on one in for like over 10 years, so I don't know. I Don't never tell him what happens on Everest because there will be some day that I, Matthew and I have said we are all going to go and we're going to bring Boaz and we're going to ride Everest without telling him what happens. Nice, we lost. Dang. Let's just say Big Chungus arrives, okay? Um, Big Chungus. What did...
are streaming. It's in theaters now from now to the sixth. Oh, really? There's like it's like the Constitution. God's not dead. They're hard to watch. I, I, I saw someone new to it. Like talking about that, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Like <laughs> he was critiquing it. I was like, yeah, all this work. It's such a. They try and do like such an emotional thing in those movies. Yeah. It's a hard. It's a hard one. It really is. Um, do you like the like Overcomer and like uh, courageous oh. movies? I didn't see. Is the Overcomer one? Is that the? Is that the brothers? Whatever their name is. Did they do that one? Yeah. I didn't see that one. The, cra- the courageous one. The first time I watched it, I was like ten or twelve, and I was like, "This is awesome!" Like yeah. it, kept, it made me feel so special. Yeah. Now when I watch it back, I'm like, it just feels like a bunch of dads. Yeah. yeah. I still like that though. Fireproof, I did not like. I don't know why. And then facing the giants is just too fun. Yeah. So I do. Right now, from a nostalgic standpoint, (laughs) yes, I do like them. From like a like, oh, this impacted my life. No, heck no. Christian? Yeah. Woodlawn? Yeah. But it's about this We did watch Woodlawn. I thought Woodlawn was pretty good. It's I did like Woodlawn. This, uh, this, it's about this boy, and he goes to um, Alabama? No. Uh, Arkansas. He goes oh, to the university. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's got the glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. Have, Did he die? He does die. But it's so good. I cried so hard. <laughs> I spoiled it, it for everybody movie. on the live stream. But he guessed it. Oh my gosh, that's so good. And then they sing, like, he, he makes it his goal to, like, he basically ministers to this entire football team. And at the beginning, it's just one person. And then at the end, it's the entire team. It's so good. It's based on a true story, right? Yes. You got that Clemson movie a few years ago? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Disney one, I think it was. Did you watch it? Was it a good? Yeah, I mean, it was like, it was Disney, so it was like well done on like a spec way. The story actually wasn't bad either. It was just kind of like, it's kind of like a one and done movie. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you're supposed to be a friend of Fly on a Watch, you're supposed to be a friend of Fly on a was like an episode of a TV show. What? It's it's a whole it's a whole. I know, two I'm hours. saying like the way it fell. Oh yeah yeah yeah. It's kind of like oh yeah it's just on. I mean like I mean if it was on somewhere and I was just like hey, but I could talk through it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It wasn't like it was like ultra suspenseful, but like I mean this is an interesting like uh, those called I mean I guess it's a documentary, but like basically like a biography or whatever or whatever they call it. Yeah, well, they're farther away, but we do have like some heights on the team. Compared, compared to like a lot of other teams. Yeah, I was gonna say that's one. We're com- we're competitive, but we just have like some stamina stuff they got they're working on. You know, individually. Or whatever. I am food today. Was it dark when you came in here? Or is it getting there? That was close. Ah, woo. It's an ah, choo. The same. A little bit too fun. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Rebecca likes that song. I think she likes it because it says chicken fried. She's like, what's that chicken fried song? <laughs> they have Jeff Brown band. You've heard the, uh, what's the... Yeah, Darius Rucker. My uncle was in class with him at UFC, but that's the extent of that. Yeah, have you seen that music video? No. It's got all the Duck Dynasty people in it. It's like... <laughs> Duck Dynasty. Oh, Je- uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So, so Jessica, so I met Jessica back in uh, Waco a couple years ago. What year did you go? Was that 18? Back in 18, then, yeah. Fall of 18, we were doing a show out in Waco, and she just happened to walk into our booth, and I said, oh, you're Jessica. I'm and she said, yeah, I, did, I am. And I said, well, I'm Daniel. And we shook hands or whatever. And then she... Um, just on her own will just bought one of our rolling pins and she still uses it apparently she commented back to my comment which was cool so i um yeah so that was that was neat she's really really nice and what's cool is like so like like being out in Waco and stuff like we met your and stuff and I, that's cool and stuff but like you know that's their territory so like they have security and stuff for them and like they were like like if if they were rolling up, you would know because um, <laughs> security people would be like, you can't be here, whatever. We're, like, we're, gonna, we're walking to our car. And like, oh, get on out here. And like, I don't think that Chip and Joe like, want people to be like that. But security, but security is security. They're not doing that. But Jessica's just walking around by herself or something. And I said, I said, you rest of the family at home? And she's like, yeah, they're watching movies or something. And I wanted to shop. And so she's just walking around by herself. And no one else really like knew who she was. Cool. Yeah, yeah, she was really cool. They're very. I think they're a very humble family. Yeah. That's so cool. Especially like being off TV now for like they're it's kind of a different era now. Like they were kind of like they had their time or whatever and they ran with it. And I really like their family. Um, but yeah, she's really really cool. Um, yeah, the podcast. I listen to it when I do quiet stuff. Like if I'm painting or doing finish work, I listen to it a lot of times. Because it's easy to listen to. Um, but I really like this stuff. I like, Phil's really cool. I really like him as like a grandfather figure. Um, so he's, he's really cool. Yeah, the whole family's neat. The kids are rotten spoiled though. I mean, it's disgusting. Like, you just like wake up and you like have all this money. and That part... That part sucks, but I like the rest of their it's a story. Hard to watch. It's yeah, it is. It, she's right. It's hard to watch. being like young and like trying to work and make ends meet. It's like that one is a little bit harder to swallow. And then, you know, they have a 19 year old who does the same thing. She just wakes up and the exact same way. That's hard too. Yeah, but she just, yeah, they can just they just get married. They can do whatever they want because like it's the money's not a problem. And like, but that that comes at like that comes because Phil did the work that he did earlier on, which is like really cool. But it's just like. Yeah, I have a little more respect for that than I do, like, the kids that are just like, they're touring the country because it feels good. So. And I'm sure they help a ton of people out in a lot of different ways. I just wish it was that easy all the time. They're a cool family, though. Oh, that one hurts. Do you go to Bojangles at all around here? Sometimes. When was the last time you went? Yeah, I had no idea that was a Oh, right, right, right. Okay. So, I mean, I've had it here, like, earlier this year. They, there's one not far by our house, and Mac and I really, really dig it. You can eat there? Yeah. They just use, uh, they don't use tuna oil. I think they just use, like, canola or something or vegetable. Anyway, yeah, I think so. Um, but they got this new chicken sandwich. Like, you know how, like, Chick-fil-A said something, Chick-fil-A did something, and, like, everyone, like, started making the pickle and fried chicken sandwiches recently as, like, a 
public a pause political thing or whatever. So like Bojangles came out with one, and it's like it's like a buttered bun, like mayo. The pickles are like that big on it, and they're like fresh and crispy. And it's like that Bojangles seasoning. Olivia and I go get it. We may have to cop. We may have to cop. I don't know. That that chicken sandwich is too good. Just don't eat it late at night. You'll get heartburn. Well, that and I was also gonna say too, like driving back an hour. I have to think long and hard about that one. Yeah. Plus, if Matthew wants to go home, yeah, it's his birthday. They close at eight. Low key, it's like pretty good. Oh, we could watch there. Or we could go get it right now. We could go get it right now. Go get it, bring it back, and eat it. We could. In the parking lot. We could do that. What time do they close? At 9? Yeah. We could do that. That would not be bad. Even just a biscuit. But we did have Bojangles for lunch, so. We have a sandwich for lunch. I had a steak biscuit. I ate some leftover stuff. I, I had some leftover mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A a couple days ago. And so I put bacon bits in that and ate that with the biscuit. I only eat the best. You should, you should deep fry some mac and cheese. That would be pretty good. Like in a cluster. Huh? Like a cluster. Yeah. Did it, um, like Burger King do that at one point? It's something like that. Let it roll. Let it roll right off his shoulder. Let it roll. Good song. <laughs> Hit in the feels. This me, is good me and my, uh, I was riding with my cousin in Raleigh, like, you are playing that and just crying. So, so two years ago, they were, you, he was at State, and we were driving around, like, the campus, or close to the campus, yeah. in the Selma setting, and we were talking about that movie, and we're like, what's and that, we're like, what, we're like, what was that song? We looked, pulled it out. And, like, the sound, like, peeped over the back of the car, it was like, it, we were like, <laughs> It's, it's, it's like these little moments yeah. in, the, in the lyrics. I was like, oh, can you, bro. Can you imagine, like, what it, like, what? It is so cool that we can just pull up songs like that and, like, you can <laughs> experience that. <laughs> like, if we couldn't do that, we would just be, like, singing the lyrics and it would not have the same effect. Like, these little wonders. That's a, that's a really good song. That, I like that movie. Swiss Family Robinson? Yeah. Love Swiss Family Robinson. Yo! Hey, nice job. Is that as good as mine? I hear like that. <laughs> yeah, she's just kind of like playing a little defensive there. A little defense. Let it go. Let it go right off the shoulder. Let it go. Let it roll. Let it roll. Let it roll in this little Fortnite. Let it roll. Yo! Oh. Wait, what are y'all doing tomorrow? Um, tomorrow we teach classes most of the day. Um, it's from about 8 to 2.30. They've got some games in the afternoon, and i got to finish up some mantles and take them to Charleston on Wednesday. What are you doing tomorrow? Talk to the It's an, uh, that's an annoying score right now, yeah. Just, when they let things drop like that, it just starts to run away. At some point, though, they kind of just let the set finish, you know? Because, like, what are you doing? If you're down that much and it's that close, you're basically just, like, wasting energy. Apparently that net's just not working for her though. For just that area. What are you doing? I just came out of You're crawling? Yeah. Nice. What if it What if it hit that and just went straight back down for the last point? That would have been so depressing. Alright. Does Matthew like get 
after a game, you'll lose if you, if you like, upset. So. Usually up until, about. like, 2 a.m., just figuring <laughs> out, like... That's all they talk about. But like the more, like the more that I have looked at brands and stuff, the more that I see, like I used to not notice that stuff, and now it's like it's everywhere. Like there's this one woodworker guy. His name is Big Ash. A S H Bowls. And he cleans bowls out of ash. <laughs> Okay. Negotiated some big bucks for that one. Is it all in the same place? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Is it outdoor or indoor? I don't know. Actually. It's supposed to be pretty rainy this week. Cigar Clubhouse or something. Oh, know. the old cigar. They're closing it, so it, it, that's probably going to be like one of the last. Okay. Uh, the old cigar house. Yeah. It's right. Um, so Greenville Drive is right here, and it's like right here. Okay. It's not far. Wait, Greenville what? Drive. Okay. The baseball field. Nice. I guess it's indoors though, right? Yeah. It's cool. The inside's really cool. Why are they closing it down? Um, he wants to do something else. Hmm. It's been open forever. It has this really 
cool like Coca Cola thing on the side. Pepsi thing on the side. Okay, I remember that sign like back when we lived there. Like yeah. when we first moved there. The Menards took a picture of her, didn't they? There's definitely. I think we just looked at one. <laughs> they were in front of a Coca Cola. Yeah, thing. I think we just looked at that one. Um, Are you, so the second shooting, that's all video, right? Yeah. This is the second shooting. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I know, I know what it means. I just was, I was, thought it's, it would be it's video. It's so nice that you just, you It's so easy. It, well, it's not necessarily easy, but you just film and then you're done. Yeah. Like you don't that. have to do the editing and stuff. No. You don't have to do any of the pre planning, no. Are you getting paid a lot? Five hundred. Decent. It's worth the trip. I mean, with it being, it wouldn't be worth it if it was like, on the coast. Yeah, yeah. Well. Yeah. Hey, back you guys have to do. Right when I grabbed it, that happened. Oh, just redo it. <laughs> Who are you shooting with? Uh, his name is Drew Carlisle. Drew the, Carlisle. the guy, yeah, I remember, I think I remember this. Yeah, that's cool. Um, the guy uh, that wanted me to go film in California. Oh, same guy? He'll be in California, but he has a second shooter who's doing the main event, and I'm the second shooter for that second shooter. Okay, got you. So he's sending someone. Yeah, he's like one of his longtime second shooters is going to be the main guy, got and you. I'll be the second shooter. He's got this really cool, like this really cool staircase. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's, ex it's expensive. Yeah, I bet. It's like a $20,000 venue. Mm. You're $20,000. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what venue-wise will be like the one that tops the Biltmore. You know what I'm saying? What? So I wonder which venue like, for you is oh, yeah, the one that tops top, the Biltmore. I think if I, at this point it would be like a destination type wedding. Yeah. Yeah, it would have, it would have to be. But the cool thing is, is that that video came out so well, it's so marketable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for what you want to do. Yeah, yeah. That's what Matthew's trying to do with this one in uh, May. He, um, in May next year, he wants that to be his like flagship. Friend. Yeah. yeah. What? Matthew? Yeah. It'll start at EI and then it'll go to White Oak, over by Bob Jones, and then it'll go down to Larkin. But it's done at four. It's like from like eight a.m. to four. So it's like, oh, did that hit her or did she hit it up? Dang, I hope you're okay. You need a concussion? Matthew goes. When, he, when it's like to the last point and it's like doesn't go our way, he'll like, it's just, he gets animated. Not like mad or anything. He just gets animated. He gets frustrated. Like it stands up and it's like, oh man, like we were so, like it's so close. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Save the live stream. A little more into it, but just a little too late. Ooh. That'll happen. I mean, sports is all about momentum too. Like if, it is. If they also start scoring a lot. I mean, they could. I mean, if they win this one and win the next one, they could still go to fifth set. 
They would go to the six. They would go to the six. I mean, they could. They might just stop. They might just say, hey, we're out of time. Yeah. Boys, boys, boys. This is about the time when I start, like, settling in for the night. Like, gear up for some Fortnite. <laughs> I guess we'll see if, if we get back in time. We actually might get test a couple yeah. rounds, but I, I, I want to. You gotta pack up the car and stuff first. Yes! 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 play last. Hurricanes, uh, Shannon Port, we played Shannon Port. So, that was nice. That was like right by the house. That was probably far for you, but you came from school. Or you came from that direction, did you so, 14, it should be 14, 12, I thought, but... People in South Carolina are weird. No, Asheville's weird. Asheville is weird. My siblings, they said on the way home from church, they saw a guy. Like, 
When you get closer to downtown, things get weirder. Yeah. Downtown, any downtown. Yeah, yeah. The farther, like the farther out, out I get, the more things make sense. I only like going to Urban Outfitters. That's that's a bad spot well, right there. Where in Asheville? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you need to snap a picture of that. It's kind of like that picture of my dad sitting out in the backyard. It's like I don't even know what he's doing. We were like, I hurt my dad. Yeah, I know. We were like, he's like, that's not even Arthur. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like. It stretches even more. Um, like, there's like it gives like a str- like here here you can see like, like yeah yeah, yeah. It you was can't. Straight. <laughs> I know. It was um, we were all like eating lunch and Dad like walked out with the dog and we were like like someone looked over I think maybe Matthew and we were like, what is going on? He's just like sitting there. You know what I realized is that you guys get to eat lunch with each other every day. It's some days it depends. Like today, I was running around shoving mac and cheese in my mouth. But yeah, we do eat together a lot. At different times, though, it seems. So. He's basically giving him his an hour number talk, which he should not have to do on his birthday, by the way. What were y'all? I saw y'all were splitting up firewood or something. Was that for y'all? Where'd you see that? I think your mom put it on Facebook yeah, or something. Yeah, the tree that fell around. Oh, that was the tree? Hey, free firewood, even though it cost us the van. Yeah. No, the van was fine. We had to get it prepared. Oh. Like at a windshield. Oh, okay. Van, Toyota Sienna still going strong. What if you lost the game on an outer rotation call? Oh no! How will we ever get the ball back? Thanks, Bo Eyes. Real champ right here. The ball really hasn't gone to anybody else except you in the stands. I don't know what it was. Wow, Rebecca's screaming at me. She's never that loud. It's like, oh. it's cool. I don't know if it's appreciated though by anyone except me and myself. But you enjoy it when I play, oh yeah? Well, you're quiet, so I can't under, I don't know. At the game. You know, the fans. Let's go, Brandon.
We're 24, boys. Pretty quick game.